Hi, my name is Victor. I'm part of the European service team and I want to welcome you in our brand new Row Visual Showroom here in the Netherlands. Today I'm going to talk to you about the new Ruby 2.3. So I want to tell you about some of the key features of the panel. Um, it's a 4-in-1 LED, edge protection, common cathode. Furthermore, I want to show you how to service the panel, how to change the module, how to change the hubboard, how to build a wall um, in a stacked configuration. This is the Ruby 2.3. It is a 2.31 millimeter pitch. It is 216 by 216 pixels, 500 by 500 mil. In there only. The brightness is 1500 nit after calibration. So one panel consists of four modules. The modules are magnetic. You can remove the module from the front or from the back. Um, the modules are made of, out of magnesium. Um, there's no mask, so there's a perfect viewing angle of 140 by 140 degrees. So if you look closer at the module, you will notice that the LEDs are in a bigger package. Actually, we combined four LEDs in one package. So why did we do this? It's because if you combine these four LEDs in one package, it's stronger to mount on the PCB, and especially on the corners where we all know the most damage occurs. So when you use a 4-on-1 LED package, as soon as you have some external force hitting the LED from the side, um, the PCB can handle the impact better. It's not a magical cure, but it will improve the lifetime of your modules. Um, furthermore, what's really special about these LEDs is they are exclusive to row. We manufacture them in, combination, uh, in cooperation with Multicolor. And the big advantage of developing your own 4 in one LEDs, we control all specifications. We can manufacture big bins, so we can produce big batches of panels. So when you're going to go cross-rental of different panels from different companies, even on different parts of the world, it will be more easy to combine the different um, LED batches together. Processing-wise, um, it's available on Brompton or on Megapixel. We all know that the most damage on LED panels occur during setup or dismantle. So what happens, your crew takes it out of the case and take off the protection cover and then they place the panel on the floor or on the side of the case just to re-grab the panel. In most cases it's always the corners or this side of the panel. So what did we do? We implemented a small system that as soon as the panel is not connected to another panel or to a base bar or a hanging bar, four metal plates will stick out the panel, combining, um, uh, sorry, protecting the corners. As soon as you bring the panels together, the plates slide in all automatically so there's no uh, uh, interaction from the user needed and you have a close connection. As soon as you disconnect the panel from the other panel, it will stick out and it will protect your corners. Common cathode. Why is this important? Common cathode makes sure that you can run the panel, uh, or the panel, not actually, you can run the LEDs on a lower current. Lesser current means lesser heat. And as we all know, heat is the biggest enemy of consistent colors in your panel. So by using common cathode, we have an energy efficient panel with a better, better color balance. As I told you before, every panel consists out of four modules. One of the nice features about these modules is they can fit on any place inside the panel. The only thing you need to do if you swap from the left to the right, remove the dust cover of the connector, move it to the other side of the module, and it becomes a right module. However, it's always good practice to replace a right bottom module with a right bottom module of another product. So in case the failure is not inside your module, the easiest way to do it is to replace the complete power box. One of the key features of the power box of the Ruby panel is that you replace everything at once. So you replace the PSU, the hub, the receiver card and all the connectors. And it's done in one go. There is a lock on the bottom and on the top, you pull them in and you pull off the module. So 
So this way, in case of a malfunction of a panel inside your wall, you don't need to start troubleshooting. Is it a receiver card? Is it a hub? Is it a PSU? Is it maybe a bad connector? No, you just simply swap the whole box and after the show, you have time to find out what's wrong with it. And of course, if you have any other problems, please feel free to call one of our service numbers and all my colleagues all over the world will more than happy to help you to solve the issue you are having. As promised, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about the mechanics of our product. As with all row products, you don't need any tools for your setup. Um, there are magnets which assist you during, uh, during the setup or dismantle. So this means as soon as you lock or unlock uh, a panel, the panel stays in its place. However, be aware, the magnets can attract some debris, which causes the panel from uh, not locking together uh, in a nice way. So as soon as you close the lock and you feel you need to do an extreme uh, amount of force, there's something wrong, disconnect the, the panel from the other panel, check the surface if it's clean, connect it again and close the lock. So how do you close the lock? You push up the red lever, push up the handle, the red part goes inside the other panel and you close the lock and as soon as you click, you're done. For the side locks, it's quite easy. You open the lever, you push it out, pull it down, and that's it. As you can notice, here's a small block which can be removed. The reason you can remove these blocks is because these panels can make a concave or convex curve of five degrees. To achieve this curve, you need to replace this small block. This is a standard block, and other blocks are available. You slide in the block and you close the wing nut again. Also for this, you don't need any tools besides your own hands. If we take a quick look at the modules, you can notice there's a small cable and there's a big nut. Um, the big nut is there to keep the module in place during transport and the small cable is there. So if you remove a module from the front um, and you, you drop it out of your hands, it's still saved by the small safety cable. Moving forward to stacking a system. In this uh, example, we use the European version of the stacking system. Uh, there are slight differences with the uh, global system, which is also manufactured by Rho, um, but um, the strength is the same. So here we have the uh, base bar of the Ruby. As you can see also here, the edge protection is included. Um, these are needed because otherwise the system won't work. So you take the panel, always make sure your hands are not touching the LED. Connect the panels together and you can let go because the magnets take over. Now I push on the red lever, close it down and close the lock. That's it. So moving on to the next panel. One moment. Here we are. The second panel, again, avoid uh, touching the LED. Move the panel, keep it above and close it. We push on the red lever, pull it over, close it, and you're done. The next step is the rear clamp adapter. I will move on to this side of the panel. It's easier to first close, connect the adapter to the panel, and then close the rear clamp. This clamp needs to go on every second row of the panel and you need to have a column in a, a rear support truss on every column. More details can be found in the row calculator which is available on our website. So how do you service a Ruby panel? Um, in case of an LED failure, um, it's really easy to change the module. You have two options. Option one, you remove it from the front. In this case, you can use the vacuum tool. It's a really uh, convenient tool. You place it onside the module, make sure it's the center of the module. You close the button and it will suck itself to the module and you pull it out in a straight line. In this case, please, please be aware for the safety cable. Option number two, if you're from the rear, you can, you can push out the module, always in a straight line, rotate it, and it fits through the frame.
as showed before, these modules fit on any place inside the panel, but please don't forget to remove the dust cap. In this case, if we want to move this module to the other side, remove this small cap, place it on the other connector, and now it will fit on the other side of the panel. In case the problem is still there, the quickest fix at this moment is to replace the complete power box. So why is uh, this the quickest fix on the Ruby? Because in a power box you replace everything. You replace your PSU, receiver card, hubboard and connectors. Um, as we all know in live situations you don't want to start troubleshooting if it's the connector, is it the PSU, repowering the wall over and over again. Just replace everything at once and for sure you know you have a working wall again. So how do you replace the power box? There are two locks on the back side and it slides off. As you can see, the connectors are here, the hubboard is here, the receiver card, and behind the receiver card and the hubboard there's a PSU. That's another big advantage of the Ruby panel. Because the PSU is on the back side of the panel, the heat dissipation will go to the back of the panel and not to the front. So this will again prevent hot spots inside your screen. So, to recap, the Ruby 2.3, an amazing product for your indoor production. 500 by 500 mil, lightweight, 1500 nits, common cathode, 4 in 1 LED, and edge protection. And in case you might wonder, how does a bigger screen look like? Please look behind me. This is the wall we built out of our 2.3. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call one of our uh, sales reps. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.